Sur Leonid, Saint Lazar, and the Legion of Honor. Not long after the end of the bloody Parisian Commune of 1871, a young 20 year old nun belonging to the Order of Marie Joseph walked through the gates of Saint Lazare in Paris and took up her new duties as a Sur Surveillant. More than 60 years later, when the prison was finally closed, this now venerable sister left Saint Lazare as a decorated chevalier and officier of France's prestigious Legion of Honor. Until the end of her long life, Sir Leonide proudly wore these colorful decorations on her habit. Justine Julie Latrunligne, in religion Sir Leonide, was born on March 21, 1852, at Coupillac. From the time of her first communion at the age of 11, she was determined to become a religious. On a visit to Montpellier when she was 18, she had her first contact with the Sœur de Marie Joseph and their innovative ministries with female prisoners and former prisoners. She soon entered the novitiate at the Mother House in Dora, where she received her initial formation in the religious life prior to her assignment at Saint Lazare. In the final decades of Saint Lazare's existence, Sir Leonid became the public symbol for the prison's softer or more human side. The strident rhetoric of the prison's many critics, especially as the facility aged very ungracefully, rarely extended to the Sœur de Marie Joseph. The popularity and almost romantic fame of Sir Leonid was a reflection not only of her own devotion and admirable selflessness, but also that of all the sisters. In the publicity and subsequent memoirs and histories that surrounded the high-profile prisoners of Saint Lazare during this era, the role and presence of Sir Leonid never escaped mention. For example, in her memoirs, Madame Stanail described in great detail the awful physical conditions of Saint Lazare, but also the always humane and kind treatment afforded her by Sir Leonid. She recalls that as she left the prison, I thanked Sister Leonid for all she had done for me, but there must have been more gratitude in my eyes than in my words. In the flood of post-war publicity about the imprisonment, trial, and execution of Matahari, the role of Sir Leonid in ministering to the condemned woman became part of the history and myth surrounding the episode. According to Sir Leonid's own account, as they arrived at the place of execution, Matahari turned to her and said, my little mother, promise me something. May I ask you to say a short prayer for me each day? The nun later testified, I have never failed to do so. At the time of her promotion as an officer of the Legion of Honor in 1931, the public citation noted, For exceptional services, in the course of her 60 years of service, Sir Leonid has consecrated her life to the supervision and moral amendment of prisoners with an admirable devotion that joined together kindness and firmness. During the war, she was specially charged by the Conseil de Guerre with the supervision of prisoners who had been sentenced to death. She acquitted herself of this painful and delicate task to the complete satisfaction of the government. She in every way merits the high distinction for which she has been presented. The executions of spies and collaborators and this special role of Sir Leonid did not end with the end of the First World War. In the vindictive post-war atmosphere, trials and the executions of spies and collaborators continued for some time. Another high-profile accused spy who was incarcerated at Saint Lazare was Alice Aubert. She was among a group of spies and collaborators who were tried in 1920. Condemned to death, she too was accompanied to her execution by Sir Leonid. The woman's last words were recorded by the nun. No, my sister, it is not the justice of men that I fear. For what is this compared to God's justice? It is that that I fear. When Sir Leonid's Legion promotion was announced in 1931, one of her most famous former prisoners was fulsome in her praise. Marthe Anno, 1890 to 1935, had been the mastermind of a huge financial fraud. She was the Bernard Madoff of France in the late 1920s. She was imprisoned for 18 months at Saint Lazare during the time of her very public and sensational trial. At one point, she went on the hunger strike in prison and the authorities removed her to a hospital where she was force fed. She escaped from the hospital and went directly back to Saint Lazare. To the warden's great surprise, she entered his office and declared, I demand to be imprisoned here. After her release from Saint Lazare, she bought the magazine Force. It was in the pages of this publication that she had this to say about Sir Leonid. 
Since my former cell was so close to yours, the prison sisters lived in cells among the prisoners, I watched and listened to you very carefully, my good sister. I know that the assistance that you afforded me reflects all that you did day after day to relieve such atrocious suffering there. You have fulfilled to the highest degree your noble mission to relieve pain and suffering on this earth. It is you, Sir Leonid, who honor the Legion. After the closure of Saint Lazare, Sir Leonid continued her prison ministry at Le Petit Roquet in Paris until September 1941, when at the age of 89 she retired to the sister's mother house at Dorat. <laughs> 